here on. So the <laughs> St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, Webster Town Board meeting will be brought to order. Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dolly, can you do roll, please? Supervisor Flaherty? Here. Councilman Abbott? Here. Councilman Cahill? Here. Councilwoman Wynn? Here. Town Attorney Genesee? Present. Okay, we do have some people in the boardroom tonight, so the next uh, item on the agenda, if anybody wants to take advantage of the open to the floor, five minutes at the podium, maximum. Would you like to? Yes. yes. Is that Mr. Ruoff? Yes, it is. I'm waiting up there at the other hall. <laughs> so finally thought, it must be down here. Sorry, I'm late. Okay. Well, and I'm going to say the Honorable William Ruoff is coming to the podium. Past mayor of the village, right? Yes. Yes. Can yes. Scan or not? Take you can off. take it off, my friend. My name is Bill Ruoff. I live at 46 Orchard Street in Webster. And uh, I'm appearing tonight before this board uh, because I do not know if anyone has thanked you for your involvement in the uh, rally that took place on uh, March 6th. So has well, Mr. Ruoff, I, we, we, certainly the Ukrainian community and leadership from the uh, Rochester Cultural Center is, I, I, I think they have thanked us, um, but, and we've gotten a lot of, people have stopped into to town hall and have, have been very um, complimentary of the fact that we are flying the Ukrainian flag yeah. at this point. My, I guess my question, Supervisor Flaherty, is has anybody come forward to publicly thank you for your involvement, uh, you and uh, the uh, council people here that, took, that were witness to that rally? If not, I'm here to say... Thank you. Diakiu. Diakiu means thank you in Ukrainian. And... Uh, our heartfelt thanks go out to this board for taking that extra step in this time of turmoil to show our, uh, show our support for the Ukrainian American community and Ukraine in particular. Uh, I probably should go home right now, but uh, <laughs> I have a little something else I'd like to ask you. Um, Previously, I've appeared before the Village Board to ask that they issue some sort of a resolution of condemnation against Russia, particularly Vladimir Putin, for what's going on. Since then, the, I have found that the United Nations, I guess we can call them the world body that has a conscience, uh, I, I'm sorry I'm making light of it, but uh, I really can't think of anything the world body of the United Nations has done that's been really outstanding except maybe in the medical field or something like that. As far as politics is concerned, it's always a nightmare. Uh, they have issued their own resolution of condemnation against Russia and Vladimir Putin. Putin calling him a war criminal. So if, if it were a problem to step up to the plate as a town board and say, Russia, we don't like what you're doing, then you could say that you would uh, be in accordance with that resolution issued by the uh, United Nations, which, by the way, was signed by 141 nations, 
Five against and 35 abstained. Number one, I didn't even know there were that many nations in the world. <laughs> oh, boy. But um, 141 nations put their John Doe's on that uh, agreement. I would also like to know if there would be any kind of communication between Webster Town and Village and the county legislature to see if the county legislature is contemplating such an act. So with that, I leave you. Uh, thank you again. It was thank wonderful you, what Ruff. you did in such a short moment's notice, too. It was the right thing, and thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ruff. Thank you. Okay, well, next up on the agenda, we have a couple of uh, <clears throat> minutes from prior board meetings. Uh, it'll be considered for approval. I have reviewed the special board meeting uh, February 28th, 2022, and I make a motion that we approve those. Second. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Abstain. Councilwoman Wynn? Aye. And also the regular board meeting of March 3rd, 2022. I make a motion we approve those minutes. Second. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilwoman Wynn? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Jenny, was this you again for the bills? Yes, sir. All righty. Everything looked good, so I would suggest that we pay the bills. Second. Councilwoman Wynn? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. And I also went over the prepaid warrants as submitted by the Director of Finance, and I make a motion we approve those. Second. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilman <clears throat> Wynn? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. All righty. Since we do not have... Anybody from the sewer department tonight, but we do have some um, pre-reads, and I know we have talked about this. Does the board have any questions on the uh, the second half of Linda Lane Sanitary Sewer Project, uh, this next resolution? I don't. Okay. Bill? No, good. Jenny? No. Okay. Then I make a motion to approve... Cossage Engineering for the second half of the Linda Lane sanitary, sanitary Sewer Project for final design in the amount of $19,500. And if any easements are needed, $200 for each easement. Second. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilwoman Wynn? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Okay, next up, uh, I'm going to make a motion to declare the following item for transfer from the courts department to the police department, a 48-inch desk, asset tag number 03027. Second. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilwoman Wynn? Aye. Okay. Um, <laughs> Well, you got to give the sewer department credit, at least they're making sure they don't piecemeal us on the uh, recycling of the different things. All right, so hang on as I read this one. I'm going to make a motion to declare the following items for recycling from the sewer department. A clow mixer, asset tag unknown or not, not applicable, chemical test kit, Gemini metal detector, asset tag number 01167. A Corning scientific pH mixer, asset tag 01190. A flow tote flow meter. A total coliform water bath, asset tag number 01978. A flow meter, asset tag 00282. A combustible, combustible gas meter, an autoclave, asset tag 01975, a jar tester, 
a hot plate, asset tag uh, unknown, a turbidity meter, asset tag 00172, and two cloud mixers that don't have asset tags. Pardon? They had three more. They do a second resolution. That's interesting. Why don't we split yeah, those up? Because they're both, they're all for maybe recycling. They were to a hmm. That's because maybe they're on different forms? They did come in on different forms. They came in on different forms. Hmm. Right. And let's keep them as separate. I'll second the motion. By the way. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilwoman Wynn? Aye. I wonder if maybe because the one group is from uh, the, the plant and the next group we're doing is from a uh, pump station, maybe? That makes sense. Um, and like I said, nobody's here from the sewer department, but. Um, so the last uh, formal agenda on the uh, item tonight is deja vu. I'm going to make a motion to declare the following items for recycling from the sewer department. 5K6234XM19B old pump, asset tag 00895. 5K6234 XM19B old pump, asset tag 00894. And another 5K6234 XM19B old pump, asset tag 00893. Second. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilwoman Wynn? Aye. And I apologize because I think if I would have read those. Recycles a little bit differently. I might have been able to tighten that up, but it is what it is. Um, you know, we have enough board meetings here that we're here for a couple hours. Uh, Bill and Ginny and Charlie and John and whatever. Sometimes having the short ones without a lot of, uh, you know, controversial items is kind of nice. Yeah. So uh, I don't want to. Anybody watching at home, we'll keep the phones open for a few minutes uh, to call in if you have any comments or questions. But we'll just do our round table. Uh, this is kind of interesting. Uh, but by the way, my wife said, what are you doing having a, 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 a town board meeting on St. Patrick's Day? And you know, if I had the foresight back when I looked at our org meeting, Ms. McGuire, um, <laughs> we would have moved this probably to last night. But anyway, with that being said, uh, Bill, any final comments? Nope, we're good. <laughs> Jenny? Well, I just want to say that, um, you know, I'm really saddened and to see what happened at Ukraine. And I was saying the prayers to the country and everyone, especially we have a lot of friends here in Ukraine that live in Webster. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and um, support our library and support our Webster Museum. So bring your family, come out, and you know, check it out to see the history and with the community. Mm -hmm. Happy St. Patrick's Day, too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Jen? Happy St. Patrick's Day, and what a beautiful day it was for it. <clears throat> and the only thing I want to add is just be very careful when you're driving around, because there are some deep, deep potholes out there. Mm -hmm. Very bad. Not on the Webster Rose, though. No, like on 590, yeah. you know, we're right. 104. We'll, we'll make sure off. it's not, not nothing that's under the uh, control of the Webster Highway Department because no. those are perfect. They stay right up on top of it. Thank you, Charlie. Yeah. I mean, I lost two shocks. <laughs> are you serious? Today? I'm not kidding. Oh, no. One broke off and the other, the other one blew. Wow. Yeah. Charlie? Well, I'm wearing my, uh, you got my, a great Italian, my Italian flag tonight because yeah. it does have two of the. Yes, colors. It, it does. So, yeah. so, yes. Happy St. Yeah. Patrick's Day to all my Irish friends and family. I do have an Irish family. And uh, happy St. Joseph's Day to my Italian friends and family, which is in two days. Sure. And you know, and Charlie, let's just be honest with each other, okay? I mean, 
I would take a plate of pasta and good sauce over corned beef and cabbage any day of the so week. I, I second and I got a last name for it. I second that okay. motion. Let's just, yes, I mean, that goes without Absolutely. saying. Absolutely. You know. um, well, yes, and, and, and I got to say, shepherd's pie is good, but come on. The Italians got us hands down on the food department. Without a doubt. I mean, it's not even close. Although I will With say... With that being said... Oh. <laughs> I will say the best shepherd's pie I've ever had... Barry's Old School Irish. Yeah. And I know the secret to it, too. <laughs> the way it's prepared. Well, you better the know. The ground beef. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not, yeah, not, not going to divulge it, yeah. but I know the secret. I've made it, and boy, oh, boy. Really? Yes. Hmm. Dolly McGuire. I don't know if we could end with a more Irish name on St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. There you go. Anything going on in the clerk's office or taxes? Still collecting taxes. Yeah. Third installs due at the end of the month. I'm going to guess that because people looked at the agenda tonight that we don't have 1.7 million people watching on TV, and that might explain why we didn't get any calls. So. Unless anybody has anything else, I would say tonight's meeting is adjourned. God bless. Thank you.